Let's get it rolling with the right reverend. Houston Nutt in Arkansas taking on Kentucky. The Hogs trying to get over a heartbreaking loss to Alabama last week. And Darren McFadden gone. 173 yards on the night for run DMC. And the Hogs on top of Kentucky. Ranked for the first time since 84 were the Cats. 20 to 7. It's 20 to 14 when Andre Woodson finds Keenan Burton made it. And what a beautiful pass and a better catch. Adjusting to the ball is Keenan Burton. Another score for Kentucky. 22-21 after Arkansas got a safety on the free kick, Felix Jones. This is the second kickoff return for touchdown. Three last year, Arkansas returned, but oh, it's the excellent block, and you don't do it just because you're a great runner. And it looked as if the Hogs were rolling. And that's before Andre Woodson went back to work. 21-39, 266, and a couple of touchdowns. Keenan Burton gets that one, and Kentucky beats Arkansas on the road, 42-29. At Denny Stadium, Georgia and Alabama. Third quarter, game tied at 10. Dogs first and goal from the six. No Sean Marino, no problem. Georgia up 17 10. Fourth quarter, Alabama had rallied from a 10 point deficit. John Parker Wilson using his feet made it. Nice job of scrambling, but he knows to go to the left side behind big tackle Andre Smith. 20 to 20 now in the waiting seconds. Matthew Stafford trying to save the dogs. Trip Chandler, who had a tough night, catches that one. Rick wants the ball spike, and Brandon Katu told me it's leather high enough, long enough, not straight enough. They're going to overtime as Nick Saban tries to pull another one out of the fire. Alabama was only 3 of 15 on third down. Asher Allen breaking up that pass, tied at the settle for a field goal. Georgia didn't wait on third down. Matthew Stafford, Mikey Henderson, Mikey likes it. Mikey catches everything. His first career touchdown catch is the game winner. Georgia does it on the road again, 26 to 23. Mark Rick, 23 and three in true road games against SEC teams. Georgia, remarkable record. Unbelievable record, and they just have a way of winning. Last year, he ended up beating Auburn. He ended up beating Virginia Tech in the year after losing to Vanderbilt in Kentucky. So Georgia avoids its first 0-2 start in conference play since 1993. All right, Chris might not have expected such a tight game in Oxford. Florida, he lost his last three trips to the state of Mississippi, down 3-0 to Ole Miss. Tim Tebow, Percy Harvin, Gators on top 7-3. And then Tebow getting it done on the ground, Lou. Well, he's just a very physical runner. He ends up doing the left. But notice how he has his pads out and always takes the pile forward. That capped a 98-yard Gator drive. Tebow ran for a Florida quarterback record, 166 yards, and the Gators overcame a sluggish start. He seemingly had things in control. 27-9, Seth Adams fires a dart to Shea Hodge, and Heidi Tidy got some Heidi. Here come the Rebels. Adams, again, he threw for over three bills. Mike Wallace. Is that the 60-minute Mike Wallace? With Morley Safer on the coverage, apparently. Wide open. 77 yards, two-point conversion for Coach O's team. Good. Adams to Marche Green, three-point game. Under four minutes to go, Ole Miss now down by six. Adams chased, firing, incomplete. And boy, did Florida have to hang on. 30 to 24, the final. South Carolina in Baton Rouge to take on LSU. Matt Flynn, Steve Spurrier. Trending holiday, the track star made a five foot six, 155 pounds, but so quick. Follows his blockers, hides behind those big linemen, takes it in for the school. So Trenton holiday in a 14 7 game. Blake Mitchell firing ball kicked around a little while, and Danny McRae will come up with a pick for the Tigers. Tiger defense making things happen. Here's a Pontiac game changing nominee. Trickeration, even their kickers are fast. <laughs> very, very fast. Colt David scoring on the trick play in LSU up 21 to 7. Well, better ball play than we did. Jacob Hester rushed for 88 yards on the day. And South Carolina had a couple of window dressing touchdowns with 28 16. After gashing Nebraska on the ground, USC trying to get the aerial attack lathered up against Wazoo, number one team in the land. John David Booty to Fred Davis made it. Nice job of the backs blocking in the backfield, but a better job by Fred Davis coming up at the back of the end zone, coming down with it. 
touchdowns. Wazoo had tied it at seven. Stanley Havili finding the end zone and SC up 14 to seven. And Fred Davis had himself a career night. John David Booty was 28 to 35. Nine of his completions going to Davis for 124 yards. A couple of scores, SC 47-14. Syracuse and Louisville. Louisville and Steve Craig Thorpe coming off that loss to Kentucky. Craig's said that he used the illustration of Muhammad Ali getting hit and getting back up. Well, he said Ali, but his players heard Chuck Wepner. Oh. First play from scrimmage, Andrew Robinson to Taj Smith, 79 yards, Cuse up 7-0. Third quarter, Cardinals down 21-7. Brian Brown, had a huge day, Lou, finds Harry Douglas. Oh, just an excellent throw. Brian Brown is really a fine competitor, fine quarterback, but they're not a very good total team. Not a good defensive team as Robinson finds Smith, and he's gone again, 60 yards. I want you to understand that Syracuse had the 116th ranked total offense. They were 116th in scoring, and giving up 18 sacks, second most in the nation. Crackthorpe's team couldn't stop them. 31 to 21, the score, and Robinson hits Mike Williams. Robinson, 17 to 26, 423 yards. Rom trying to save his team. He threw for over 550 yards. Patrick Carter touchdown. It's a three-point game. 56 seconds to go. They need the onside kick, but Art Carmody didn't kick it far enough. It's got to go 10. I'm not sure it went three. No! Oh! Syracuse wins it 38 to 35. A rocky start for Steve Cragdale. I'm very upset. I'm very disappointed uh, that we're not playing better than what we are right now. And we got to find a way to get, done, get it done. The buck stops with me. I'm in charge of this program. And, and uh, like I said, if you want to blame somebody, blame me. I'm the one that's in charge. So take your shots at me. That's fine. Lincoln, Nebraska, the black shirts against Ball State. Sam Keller finds Sean Hill, 73 yards. Hey, this game's in the third quarter, and Nebraska just now taking the lead at 21 17. Ball State would answer right back. Nate Davis to Mikhail Lewis, who just runs through the black shirt. In an outstanding job getting to the outside, using the speed right here, cutting back. This is poor angles by the black shirts and not enough hustle to tackle the ball here. 24 21, Ball State had never beaten a team from a BCS conference. They had Nebraska on the ropes in the fourth. Up by nine, Nate Davis ill advised. Bo Rude, pick six. And here come the children of the corn. Nebraska down by just two. Just over three minutes to play. Nebraska in the red zone. Sam Keller, Maurice Purify. Touchdown, Nebraska. Huskers missed the two-point conversion. Keller threw for a school record, 438 yards and three touchdowns, but Ball State's not finished. Davis, who had hit Dante Love with a touchdown pass earlier. Oh, that was the game winner potentially. And now Ball State's left to try a 55-yard field goal to try to upset Nebraska, and they couldn't get it done. 41 to 40. That is one thing. West Virginia's Rich Rodriguez said East Carolina played their running game better than anybody the last couple of years. Skip Holtz wanted to know if he was mad when he said it. Darius Renat is loose. Uh, you know, loose. Skip needed 77 crazy men to try to tackle. Well, I'll tell you what, you got to stop tackling like you're Venus to Milo and you don't have any arms. 27 to nothing. West Virginia up. Renat again with his second touchdown of the day. And then Pat White, a little stutter step. 402 yards on the ground has had to be held under 155 the last two years by the Pirates. 48-7 West Virginia rolls. West Virginia has South Florida next, and Butch Davis of North Carolina can tell them just how good they are. The freshman Mike Ford bouncing to the outside. Bulls take a 7-0 lead. Later in the first, Matt Grothy to Amari Jackson. Nice protection up front. Matt Grothy stays tall in the huddle, but Amari Jackson finishes off with a touchdown. 37 to 10. Any notion that perhaps high-powered offenses in Stillwater? Graham Harrell trying to keep his team undefeated. Harrell finding Danny Amendola, 41 yards. Uh, Leach's offense looks unstoppable at times. This one ties it up at 42. Oklahoma State down by three, 45-42. Zach Robinson to Brandon Pettigrew. And a nice shot by Brandon Pettigrew right there, the stiff arm. There's a little swim move, and he's off to the races. Good blocking down the field. Takes it down to the sidelines, in for the score, 54 yards. And it was a Pontiac game-changing nominee in suing Red Raider possession. Harrell finding Michael Crabtree. Crabtree 
dominant in statistics this year. Nobody scored more touchdowns from the receiver position than Crabtree coming in. Under 30 seconds to go. Fourth and eight. Harrell looking for Crabtree. Oh, Crabtree. Oh, he catches that one nine times out of ten, but the youngster can't haul that one in. Love to have that one back. Arizona beat Cal last year, kept the sturdy Golden Bears from winning the Pac-10 outright and going to the Rose Bowl. Nate Longshore and the Bears looking for a little redemption. But Justin Forsett takes a direct snap. Forsett leading the Pac-10 in rushing. He goes in for the end, into the end zone for the touchdown. Longshore finding Lavelle Hawkins. Bear offense tough to stop, Lou. A lot of weapons. There's an awful lot of them when you put Forsett oh. on the Deshaun Jackson. Willie Tuatama gets drilled. Tyson Alu Alu recovers it for the touchdown. 45-27. Bears beat Arizona to the Big Ten now. Penn State in Michigan. Joe Paterno had lost eight straight times to the Maze in blue. Ryan Mallett. Oh, the long strider showing the wheels. Oh, the big guy's got some quick feet. Six foot five. The freshman takes it in for the score. Wolverine's up 7-0 at 7-3 when Austin Scott, the fifth-year senior, puts it on the ground. He's had problems fumbling this year, and Michigan takes over again. Fourth quarter, Michigan driving up 7-6. Second and goal from the one, and Mike Hart. Mike Hart carried the mail 44 times in this game, 153 yards. Michigan, 1-0 in the Big Ten. They beat Penn State. The moment. Iowa and Wisconsin, night game in Camp Randall. Badgers ranked ninth, late in the second quarter, down 3-0. Tyler Donovan to Travis Beckham. Beckham making an athletic catch. Wisconsin takes a 7-3 lead. Jake Christensen finds Daryl Johnson Culianos. What a one-handed grab. Iowa takes the lead. But in the fourth quarter, here comes the Wisconsin Winnebago. Captain 11 play, 68-yard drive. Wisconsin back on top by four. And then in the 17-13 game, the lefty trying to save the Hawkeyes who, oh, he had his man out there, Paul Chaney Jr., but they couldn't connect. And Iowa loses his second straight. In Wisconsin, they lose the Heartland Trophy. The Senator, Jim Trestle, Ohio State and Northwestern. Lou, I do believe if this thing had been a fight, they would have stopped it on cuts very early. Uh, if it had been a little leg, it would have not gone four quarters. Yeah, had little, mercy. little but mercy but, rule. But Ohio State's really looking good, and Beckton is really throwing the ball. Well, Rubisky having for Monday season. Yeah, Rubisky caught three touchdown passes. You've seen two of them. Do I hear three, Mayday? Yes, you do. Brian Rubisky again with a touchdown reception. 58-7, Ohio State rolling. Michigan State and Notre Dame. Charles Weiss had not gotten his offense into the end zone all season. Travis Thomas. Travis Thomas. Shake down the thunder. Wake up the echoes. Notre Dame has an offensive touchdown. Tied at seven. Brian Hoyer, Devon Thomas, Sparty up 14 to seven. Now, Notre Dame did find a little identity. James Aldridge. Now, uh, this young man is a tremendous back. Last week, he had 51 yards and 10 carries. Average over five yards a carry. There he breaks off a 43-yard gain. Irish would get in the end zone there, but Hoyer would find Mark Dell and Michigan State, the first team to go to South Bend and win on six straight trips. This really started for us last year at this time when Notre Dame came to our stadium and um, had a great comeback and won. And I think our guys have been suffering ever since then. So we talked about it a lot. You know, we spent a year dealing with this, and our guys have been mocked, and our guys have been made fun of, and we lost coaches, and there was a coaching change, and a lot of things happened. So we internalized this and turned it to our favor today, and we came in here prepared to play. Rice taking on Texas. The Owls had yet to win. The Longhorns, despite a couple of scares, had yet to lose. Second quarter, it's already 20 to nothing. Colt McCoy. Sweet, 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 sweet. Lima Sweet, 52 yards. Horns up 27 to nothing. It's 34 nothing. Clearly what Rice needed, Mayday. 77 crazy men to try to cover the Sweet. Am I getting that right, Lou? No, you just need 11 wild men obsessed with getting to the ball. But Rice didn't have any of them. Jamal Charles went into the end zone virtually untouched. First time this year, Texas breaks half 158 to 14. McCoy with a fine night, over three bills and three touchdowns. 
Jeff Jagodzanski warned his BC Eagles despite their 3-0 start in the ACC that everybody was eligible for, quote, a butt kicking. Army was hanging close. It was 9-0 when Matt Ryan found Rich Gunnell. 16-0. It's 16-10 late in the third. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Purvis, BC pulls away 37-17. Matt Ryan over 350 again. Clemson and North Carolina State. This is a beautiful throw, Mark, from Colin Harper to C.J. Spiller. Outstanding touch over the defensive back, right in the hands of C.J. Spiller. Touchdown, Clemson. Spiller had been a little frustrated, hadn't been able to break a big run. His preacher gave him a Bible verse on patience, and sometimes uh, the fast inherit the touchdowns. Yes, that uh, play in NC State helped that. <laughs> Spiller went for over 100 yards, so too did James Davis. 42 to 20, Clemson wins on the road. Another fine day for Cullen Harper. For Maryland and Wake Forest, reigning ACC champs, have been scuffling. 17-3, Maryland over Wake. Keon Lattimore and the Terps were cruising. 24 to 3, just over a minute to go. Maryland or a minute to go in the third quarter. Maryland about to get some more. Uh oh. Jordan Steffi, pick six, Alfonso Smith. This is the definition of a Pontiac game-changing nominee. A 100-yard pick six that all of a sudden turned a blowout into a game. It's 24 to 10. Seconds left in regulation. Wait down seven at the seven. Riley Skinner back in there. John Tarashinsky. Touchdown, Demon Deacons tied at 24, and we're going to overtime. First and goal for Wake in overtime, Skinner, Josh Adams. Ball game, Wake Forest comes all the way back, 31 to 24. A terrific win for Jim Grove's team. Georgia Tech on the road at Virginia Tech after getting thumped by BC. Pass tipped at the line of scrimmage, Jeffrey Fitzgerald. Pick six, the Who's up. 21 to 7, fourth quarter. Take up 23 21. Andrew Smith, that's him up. Virginia gets great field position from there. Jameel Sewell finds Staten, Staten Joby open. He spins into the end zone, and Virginia hands Tech its second straight loss, 28 23. Illinois and Indiana. Juice Williams is going to find Richard Mendenhall. Nice job by big Richard Mendenhall. Big physical back for Illinois. Takes it in for the score. The Illini thinking bowl, thinking becoming bowl eligible. There goes Mendenhall again. 27 to 14, the Zuckers team. Three and one, first loss for Indiana. Air Force taking on BYU. Air Force unbeaten coming in. Max Hall, Matt Allen. Cougars up 14 to nothing. BYU up 17-0, Hall looking to throw. Harvey Unga is open, and Unga with no crazy men to stop him. 31-6, BYU over Air Force. UConn at Pitt. Now this isn't funny, don't, don't go funny on me now. <laughs> UConn up 27-7, Pat Bostic, the freshman picked by Lawrence Wilson. Six turnovers for the Panthers who are hapless. 34 to 14, UConn 4 0. Jim Harbaugh of Stanford said of Oregon, we're still formulating strategy. That's a lot of weapons to stop. First few seconds of the game, Jim better get back to formulating. Dennis Dixon to Cameron Colvin. Dennis Dixon, a dangerous runner, but also a dangerous passer, a perfect pass to Calvin Colvin. You know, Harbaugh compared him to Vince Young, said he threw one of the nicest balls he'd ever seen, but Harbaugh's team would come back. Once down 21-3 when T.C. Ostrander hits Ben Ladner, the Cardinal had a 24-21 lead. But in the third quarter, those Oregon weapons, the tie game at 31, Jeremiah Johnson going in. Ducks roll double nickels, 55-31. They've got Cal next week. Washington and UCLA, Tyrone Willingham's team trying to bounce back after losing to Ohio State. UCLA was humiliated by Utah. Jake Blocker, oh, that one was floating for a while. Dennis Keyes pick six. A nice job of Dennis Keyes of watching the quarterback's eyes and breaking down the ball. Interception, touchdown. Every time Washington would get close, UCLA would come up with a play. 31-24. Matthew Slater feels the punt at about his 15 and right up the gut. 85 yards, UCLA pushed their lead back to two touchdowns, and they win it by a count of 44-31. Purdue and Minnesota. Purdue off to a quick start. They're waiting to see what the Boilers have as they're 
Schedule starts to heat up a little bit. Minnesota struggled as well. Adam Weber picked off by Cliff Averill. 43-yard pick six. Purdue up 24-3. And this is one of the most bizarre plays you'll ever see. Still 24-3, under a minute to go before halftime. Chris Summers has his field goal attempt blocked. Jamal Harris is going to score a touchdown. But to score a touchdown, you see you have to take the ball with you. Go! 45-31, Purdue.